take this. Right, catch the steer up the side. Right, right. Big Thorny in the building. Jenna, eh? Jenna, eh? Have to turn around on me. See me, right here. That's me right there. Hi, my name is Lawan Bell. I'm an up-and-coming comedian. I like long walks in the park. I'm an Aquarius. I like the whole thumb, not nails. I like the whole thumb. <laughs> Fuck you. And I'm bipolar. That <laughs> nigga was so nice. He just changed. Hi, Janine. My name is D. Lawan Bell. I killed it at Therapy Cafe tonight. I'm an up and coming comedian. I hope y'all like my material. I'm trying to make it. I hope I make it. I need support. I don't like player haters. I don't like one uppers. You know, them niggas that be like, hey, yeah, you know, you funny and everything, but you know what I'm saying? My one dude, though, bruh, like, he, you know what I'm saying? My one dude do comedy, too. That's some niggas that can't stand to accept and give a compliment. Them niggas that be like, oh, you good at everything, ass nigga. <laughs> I like Janine. I like her freckles, her personality. She brought me food when I was hungry. And she has nice breasts. Thank you. That's all I have to say. I've never seen her breasts, actually. But they've grazed me a couple of times, and I've got an erection. My penis was erect. No, actually it wasn't all the way hard. I got like a sub chubby. You know like when you can fuck a little bit when your shit like hard enough to fuck but it ain't all the way hard. He know about them sub chubbies. He know about sub chubbies. Up, up. Up. You know when you only get about seven inches instead of four feet. Yeah, 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 you got all the old shit. You lying, you lying like a Cory in a rug. Get the, get the ruler out, know what it is. Look, hold on, I got one in my purse. You think it's get the you ruler out. I think I carry in here. <laughs> I know how 10 inches. I'm going to give you the best seven and a half. My shit is thick though. I, am I giving too much information? This is your show. I'm not going to talk about my penis width or circumference or size or it being acute and obtuse to pie. <laughs> girth. I have girth. And I know what I'm doing. I can touch my hairline with my tongue. You want to see that shit, don't you? I'm not going to show you. No, no, no. Uh, no. I'm not going to show you. I'm good at what I do, though. Ask my girlfriend. She's in Florida waiting for me like, come on baby I'm waiting for you and I really care for my girl she's a good girl why you get all serious right? cuz she a good girl man you know something like niggas be posting Facebook suck attacks and shit about them can't find no girl you can find one nigga if you such a good fucking guy get you one she concurs and approves of that you so nice everything is cool everybody like you Facebook status is be on point. Get you a good girl, nigga. I got one. My name is DeLawan Bell, and I approve this statement. And I'm funny. Y'all should come to see me. Listen, I'm an up and coming comedian. Did I just say this? This is one of my ex girlfriends in high school. I used to call her Tootie. I got a thing for chocolate. Everybody's here about Tootie. I'm sorry, Janine. I know you're yellow, but I just got a fetish for chocolate. I'm Tootie. Yes. Don't she look edible? She just look bitable and shit. She like a sexy Reese's Pieces. Dip a strawberry in there. Man, that was my little girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you repeat that, sir? I said dip a strawberry in that ass. In that ass. That ain't. I'm trying to dip the, the strawberry in ass. No. I've never, never dipped the strawberry in ass. I've never dipped the strawberry, strawberry I said it. Only if it's a strawberry. I've dibbled and dabbled with the asshole occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. No, your mouth I've, the, I've ate ass before. No, your mouth get the water in it like you're about to throw it. You gotta spin the shit. Right. 
I've ate ass before. There's a technique to eating ass. I learned how to eat pussy from like an old school nigga in a hotel room. I had a girlfriend, yes, I had a girlfriend, and he was like, my time had run out on my room. He was like, come on, youngster, come on down to my room. Come back over here. This was my homeboy. He said, come on, bring it down to my room, right? So I'm like, yeah, okay, man. So I brought my 18-year-old girlfriend. I was 18. She was 18. We just trying to get away from our mama. Brought her down to the hotel room. This was my homeboy's room, right? He like 44. So we get in the room. He an old school nigga from Detroit. He like, yeah, baby. He ain't eating that pussy, is it? And I'm like, no, I'm not eating any pussy. He like, baby, he ain't ate your pussy yet, baby. She like, no, I've never had my pussy yet. So he like, Man, you mind if I eat a pussy, man? I'll show you how to eat the pussy. I'm like, do you mind? And she was like, no. So I sat there watching eat my girl's pussy. I was amazed. I wanted to see this shit. So he was like, let me show you how to do it. You're like, you take your thumb, right? You take your thumb and you put that thumb inside that pussy like that, yeah, that. Yeah. You take that thumb right there, you, you, know, you, you flip that motherfucker out like that. Uh, he went to town on my girl, man. I broke up with her after that. Like, you let an old man eat your pussy in front of me. But you liked it. I learned, though. Oh, Serious thing. <laughs> Look at the precise ass sideburns. I know. Can we get? Can we get a? They call me Duke Box. I should be on the side of an escrow texturizer kit. Nate's over here. He got a lot of jokes. He's been, he been tallying up jokes right now. Right. You are nothing but material right here. <laughs> Serious See my face. face right now? <laughs> Serious face. Nate's in the now. He done ate a booty or two. He's married. He's ate a booty I'm or two. I'm married and I ain't even ate no ass. He's no, face first. first. Ask him. He got the ate a booty Yeah, face. I'm a married nigga. I done ate some ass. Yeah, yeah. I'm married and I ain't never did that shit. <laughs> I'm not married and I've indulged in an ass or two. Now. Uh, this nigga ate ass and he ain't even got no wife. <laughs> they all wanted to be my wife after I ate the ass. <laughs> Do do come from? <laughs> and babies and blood come from the pussy, and I've ate a pussy or two in my life. Uh, oh, he done turned this shit into some silky nigga yeah. shit. <laughs> Did you stick this up? I stuck my First tongue out. The nigga got a smoke. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He said, first of all, let's, let's, that, bro, bro. let's, let's go ahead and point it out. Some of you mother, hold on. Call my name. Call my name. D-Bell. I like to see your picture. I want to know how come ain't nobody said shit yet but me. My you know, man got a slope. You know what I ain't said shit? Because that shit look good. Do it look good, Janine? It does. Thank you. Hold on. If somebody just posted on Facebook another dude with a slope. Right now, with that. Right now. I was an inspiration. Yeah. Shout out to my barber, Kiki B. Bernie Smith up at Eye Candy on Seabenthaler in Philadelphia. Bruh, bruh. I'm about to get a pee wee. <laughs> I'm about to get a pee wee. not gonna get a pee wee. He gonna get a tail in the corner of his hair. He, he gonna pull it around and hold it in his lip like. With, with one bead on the motherfucker. One bead. Now you know the thing is, the new gang, nigga, the more beads you got on your tail, the more juice you got. I hate, hey. Grown ass men. Oh, it's beads. Get rid of the goddamn braids and the beads and shit. I get tired of trying to carry on a conversation and then hear your ass behind me come out. Sound like click like. Sound, yeah. Or motherfucking Mexican uh, salsa music and shit. Take that shit out your goddamn hair. I got it. I got it. My balls is on. Let's go, Sasha. Feel like, 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 feel like
<laughs> come back. Now, I want the Bulls to beat the Heat because I don't like the Heat. But I'm a die-hard Atlanta Hawks fan since I was a little boy. And the Bulls put us out this year, so it's kind of like bittersweet. But back to Janine's titties. She got some gold. Janine. Her titties are very nice. Thank you very much. I've never seen them, but I can describe them. They're yellow, possibly with little freckles on them, like your face a little bit. They have a high, like, reddish, tan, brown areola area. The nipples are approximately maybe pinky nail with long. You have little nipples with big areolas. You have big nipples. The size of a dime. Dime? You got 10 month old penis nipples. <laughs> I like those nipples though. I'm sorry, epic fail. Epic fail? The silver The who? The silver The juicy should have zoomed in on them. She like, she like a, a Martian stripper. Right. <laughs> She was an extra in the Kanye video. She just looked like her shit stank. I'm sorry. Her pussy smelled like hot dog water and polar sausage juice. <laughs> Clean your pussy. The girl, the girl, yeah, she had white and silver on. White and silver, white and silver, white and silver, white and silver. Her pussy smelled like polar sausage juice. And honey brown. <laughs> That's what her pussy smell like. That shit is not okay. Oh, I gotta. I'm gonna tell you what the fuck I don't like. I don't like fucking hand scarves and pajama pants at 10 a.m. dropping your kids off at the fucking school. Oh, Hold on, why can't you be happy that the parents are taking their kids? I don't like that shit oh. unless you about to get your ass in the bed. If you about to leave the house at night, yeah. yeah. If you about to get in the bed, that's perfect. In the morning? Take that shit off. You smell like last night's booty do. Yeah, you was doing it all night. You smell like hot south meat. They probably ain't been to bed. South you been at yeah, she been at the A-list all night jumping. She got right in and just put her hand scarf on and her and her her little uh SpongeBob pajama pants and her little bunny wrapped slippers. Wait a minute, did you say hot south meat? Hot south meat. How are you gonna disrespect South Meat like that? I'm gonna punch you in the face. You like potted meat? No, South Meat. <laughs> Fuck South Me. Really? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he has noted he has the silk jersey on. Free game joint. Sleeveless. His jogger pants have no pockets. He's going off the guns. <laughs> He's got to take Rip. He was Roosevelt's fire. Right. <laughs> he got on. What the fuck is this? Wing sit Stacey Adams. <laughs> Nike windbreaker pants. <laughs> An edible boxer. As soon as he sweat, them motherfuckers gonna dissolve. Hey, with the stretch fitted though, not the one that you buy to your size, the one that, that got the elastic in the back. He didn't go to Roosevelt, he went to Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> He got, his, he got his hat from Jeans Glory downtown. <laughs> he got a satin white feet on. A satin white feet. That nigga used to be in a group called, he was in a group called Donovan and the Domestic Violators. Him and his three brothers. They, they got afros with combed in parts. They just combed their parts in. They all got spaghetti stains on their shirts. Hey, <laughs> hold on. The nigga about 48, and all his tattoos was like two years old. <laughs> you just got them up. Epic fail. Right. One of them still got Vaseline on. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. It's cracking. This is a part of Chef Live from CBCB with the nasty food on Earth. You feel me? Right. Uh, sitting here in with some of the realest ass I know. One of the realest females I know on the camera. You feel me? Uh, 2011, second half. We at halftime right now. Second half, third quarter, fourth quarter, baby. We're coming up. We're coming out strong. We win over 500, baby. Catch me, buddy. Let's go. Dance moves was hard, nigga. I wouldn't try that nigga. That's, that's that song with them sassy dance moves like. Uh, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Get low. I don't trust that. I will try that nigga if I see you dancing to this like. 
Stop touching. You try. You get away. Party chef, you get away. Hey man. Fuck party chef. Nah, I fuck with the party chef. He tried to grill me on Facebook earlier. Come on. The nigga said, "What you say, I dig it." He said, "Nigga said something back up for Montel Jordan." Nah, no, Pointer Sisters. I did say, I did say, <laughs> I did say he saw him back for the uh, Pointer Sisters. Gumby was his idol. Uh, what was another one I did? I will try your punk ass if I see you doing that shit in the club, nigga. You're not hard. You do sassy dance moves, nigga. Notice the smothering smoke coming from coming from the. Those are nice. Can I? I ain't even touched them yet. Why you getting all aggressive? You don't touch my chicken before me, man. It's like you ever get a Sunday's paper and the motherfucker touch your paper. Oh, don't touch the paper before I do. Penitentiary coming out, man. My prison coming out. I'm sorry, I'm free. I'm not in jail no more. Prison coming out. Just to argue with some, man. I'm sorry. Would you like a wing, Andre? He's twitching. <laughs> It just hurt me to step out of prison mode. <laughs> like, would you like one of my wings? He's freestyling. Fan over. Oh, <laughs> 